important here is yung taking initiative. Kasi ang taking, uh, when you take initiative is yung tinatawag na sa ating mga Filipino, papupukpukin mo yung mga ano, yung nail para bumaon. Hindi yung gano'n. Yun yung doon kung pasok yung leadership skill. And it's one thing that uh, here in ICANN, we're, we're not only teach you how to become professional chefs. We're also teach you how to act as a professional. Kasi magkaiba yun. How to may knowledge ka na uh, I'm a professional chef. But you don't know how to execute that. You don't know how to show to your colleagues. Dito yung tinatawag na yung punctuality. Oh. Every day, uh, every week, your session is start at 9 o'clock. You will always come 10 o'clock. So we will not wait for you. It's not because ayo ka namin matuto. Of course, if your um, schedule is 9 o'clock, you need to come here at least 30 minutes or probably 15 minutes ahead of your schedule so that you can prepare yourself. Doon mo may, doon mo, kasi ang discipline. Yes, ang discipline mo nagaling yan sa sarili. Hindi yan mong nagaling sa colleagues mo, sa friends mo, or sa akin. No matter how good I am as your instructor, if you have, if you don't have the passion to learn, if you don't have this uh, initiative na matuto, then I will not be a great mentor. Ah, it's my fear. And uh, one thing, uh, that's one thing that uh, one of my goals, I don't want to uh, be a failed, uh, failed mentor because this is my first batch that I will be handling. And uh, of course, I'm so uh, thankful to the management for providing, uh, for giving me a chance for this. Okay. So organization, chefs must be very organized in the kitchen. And they have to work in a variety of tasks at once and must do so while keeping the kitchen clean and safe. So, as you can see here, I have here your net mask and gloves. These are the most essential parts of being, of working in a kitchen. So, we always want to maintain cleanliness, clean as you go, or kaigo, or they call it kaigo. Hindi tayo pwedeng maging chef na dupyo. Especially sa uniform natin. I, uh, I see a lot of chefs sometimes, I'm not trying to discriminate, even sa ibang lahi, wearing white uniform, and there's a lot of sauces here that they walk out. Respect your uniform. I don't want to see anyone going out of this building after your class, wearing your uniform, taking a cup. This is only for the kitchen. Why? Kasi, dyan ang nakakarang ng cross-contamination of food. Your, your uniform is your soul, same as your knife. Your, your knife, you need to clean it when you, after using it. You don't put it in a dishwasher. Sa mga Japanese chef, yun ang paniniwala nila. Once you use your knife, your soul goes to your knife. And you don't want to put your soul in the dishwasher here. Correct? Team player. Of course, dito yan, dito sa ICAM, we also um, conduct team building. Dito yung kumapasok yung camaraderie natin sa atin, sa police natin. Siyempre, yung team building, team work, <coughs> napaka-importante niya sa kitchen. Hindi ka magiging magaling na, hindi ka respeto ng mga kitchen staff mo. If you, uh, as a chef, you don't know how to respect them. You don't know how to make camaraderie with your uh, colleagues. Have sense of humor, give constructive feedback. This is very important. Here in ICAM, every time that you will have a session, you will have a, um, you will cook food, you will uh, present your food. There will be a judging criteria for you to have your your grades and at the end of this for your graduation. <coughs> Give uh, you need to make you need to be open minded. Okay, here we don't especially this batch. Um, what we're gonna do as a mentor, I will not judge. Uh, any plantings for culinary to make sure that it's gonna be fair for everyone. So there will be uh, specific people who will be uh, making uh, uh, give you your grades when presenting your food. So, kailangan maging open tayo sa feedback when uh, a judge um, nagbigay siya ng constructive criticism sa food mo, it doesn't mean that they're trying to pull you down. This is for you to learn. Kumuha kayo ng technique doon, especially doon sa mga nag-judge. They are very expert when it comes to plating. So doon kayo mag-grow as a great chef. Knowledge and nutrition, ma'am, I think this is one of your questions earlier. Knowledge and nutrition, 
uh, tuturo din natin dito, especially yung mga herbs na ginagamit natin. So, yung mga healthy, healthy diet for uh, uh, making food. And willingness to learn, source of ingredients, flexibility. Also, in this uh, batch, we will also uh, try to incorporate yung knowledge so when it comes to uh, different settings. Kasi ang pagiging chef, kailangan alam mo kung ano yung paano mo patakuhin ang isang itin, kung paano patakuhin ang isang bucket dining or ang isang fine dining. Magkakaiba yan. Diyan pumapasok yung time pressure sa kitchen, sa providing good service, providing quality food. And, of course, pinaka-importante, yung may knowledge tayo sa basic din, katulad ng paghawak ng knives, kung anong klaseng chopping board ang gagamitin natin. Especially here in Saudi, if uh, you guys, uh, some of you chefs are working in the kitchen, they are very strict when it comes to using chopping board. Chopping board, let's say for example, green, you can add uh, fruit and vegetables. Yan lang ang pwede mong gamitin. Pag nakita ng baladiyan yan na ang gumana ng green ng chopping board mo, ito, at ikaw ay nagigiwa ka ng fish or seafood, fine. Gatawang kayo ng fine dyan. Yellow for uh, raw poultry, blue for cooked food, white for dairy products, ito yung mga cheese, ganyan, and tan, fish and seafood, and raw. That's it for our uh, overview. Now we will now proceed to our uh, main objective uh, for the day. Meron po. Ah, sure. Meron po tayong color coding. Eh, makikita po natin yan sa kitchen. For now, here, ang uh, ginagamit natin since uh, we're using the, the brown one, uh, we will, because uh, probably uh, for the next few sessions, we will provide that to make sure that we're following the standard, okay? So, for the basic food, uh, do you have any other questions before we proceed? So, let's now start basic food hygiene. An introdu introduction to food safety presented by uh, Samuel Dandilan. Uh, he is our uh, Baladia instructor here, but currently he is on vacation. So we will uh, discuss this. Kasama dito yung food environment, safety. Alright, so as you can see here, wash your hands. So it's totally messed up. So ayun natin yung kitchen natin rin yan. Diba? Alright, ano ba yung mga benefits of having a good food hygiene? When you say hygiene, what exactly comes to your mind? Cleanliness. Yes. 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 Maraming klaseng hygiene, uh, personal hygiene, yan yung importante. But the best benefits of good food hygiene, the disadvantages of good, uh, bad food hygiene, food handlers hygiene requirements. So these are the, the, the things that we will be discussed, going to discuss today. Siguro sa'yo, food food hygiene. Chef boy. Chef. <laughs> Embrace na natin, starting today. Okay. Alas siguro. Kasi yung mga ano, yung mga gulay. Okay. Yes, of course. Kung mga chemicals, madi-discuss na natin. vegetables export tawag ba export hindi katulad sa atin sa Philippines na we have our own uh, fresh uh, pero hindi pa rin si 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 Alright, benefits of food hygiene, no customer complaint, that's number one, diba? Increased brand reputation, less waste of uh, food, reduced risk of food poisoning, and the pink peanut delicado na dapat natin makikita. Kasi sir, yung ano, yung siya ng mga restaurant or sa mga marulit na kandidat, huwag po yung tirang pagkain, huwag yung tirang butasan, Recycle. 
And just to uh, here, we're talking not we're not talking about Carinteria. We're talking here a fine dining restaurant, a hotel service. So is there so, no, no. I check. Kasi ano, Oh, oh. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. No problem. I have what I'm trying to mm -hmm. Yes. What I'm trying to say, um, dito, especially to sa question yung chef na yung ibang restaurant ni re recycle nila. If you notice sa mga sa mga even sa mga Jollibee and eto pa masa to. Hindi naman nila ni recycle yan. They throw the food. Lahat ng restaurant they don't give food to the uh homeless people, they don't give food to uh, the, the beggar. Why? It's not because we're being right. selfish. Right. And risk, the reason behind that, that they food don't give food, yeah. is to make sure that their brand is protected. Let's say, for example, Jollibee, they give uh, leftover yung mga tirang closing time, may mga tirang chicken, they give it to someone yung mga walang matirahan, and something happened to them. That will fall back to your restaurant. Hindi dahil sa pag in this business is business. Hindi dahil sa pagiging madamot yun. Because mm -hmm. uh, oh, hindi ang katao. They didn't want to throw the food because instead of giving it to the poor people. It's not about that. Uh, when it comes to business, you need to protect your brand. You need to protect your uh, restaurant and your your profession as a chef. The reason na pinatapon ng mga restaurant yung mga tirang uh, kahit sabi mo hindi na dalaw yung mga excess food, dispose lahat yan. You're not allowed to give it to homeless people kasi babalik yan sa restaurant. Okay, so in, in this, let's try to at least become a little bit unemotional. Okay? Disadvantage of food hygiene, warning food poisoning to the poor food hygiene. Sa food, uh, sa kitchen, as a chef, we have our hernet. And uh, of course, kailangan alam natin paano gumamit ang hernet. Ang hernet, hindi lang basta pinakulong ka niya. Masabi lang may hernet ka. Hernet should be put here until your ear. Ear. Kasi may mga ear detail. Diba? Yan. Ganyan ang pagkamit ang hernet. And for the mask, thank you sa coronavirus ngayon na enlight na tayo kung paano ang tamang paggamit na ito. Siguri sa yan sa magandang nangyayari. If you are sick, di ba? Pag... If you are sick and you don't want people, may respeto ka nga sa kapa mo, katulad ni sabi ni Vice Mayor na, uh, ah, Vice Mayor, ni Mayor Disco, and uh, you don't want na makahawa, so all you need to do is you need to make sure that uh, the blue is the one facing it, like this. Parang hindi lumabas ang bacteria. So, the white one. But if you're healthy, you need to use the, you have to put the white in front. But for us, as a, uh, for us chefs at the uh, uh, people who's working in the kitchen, we always put the blue. Kahit sabi natin, ano, wala tayong sakit or ano. Why? We're handling food. Nakikipagbento tayo sa ating katabi habang nag-slice. Yung saliva natin, umagalsin. So that's the good combination. So we need to put this. Always. Huh? And of course, yung ating toe. Yan. Nilalagay yan. Hindi lang yan basta display lang. O pinato. Nilalagay yan sa ating ulo. Para at least protection ng sa hair natin. And the most important is using the gloves. Gloves. Always use this. And I'm gonna remove this to make sure that all your jewelries when you work in the kitchen should be removed. Even if, if you're married. So so I'm so sorry some uh, uh, married uh, wedding rings. Okay? And adding names. So especially sa mga babaeng chef, Tatanggalin mo natin yung pagpapaganda. Uh, some of you, I think, they're putting artificial nails, like uh, para umaba. Yun. Delikado po yun. Hindi po yun papasa. Bakit? Kasi yun ang tatanggal yun. Yung nilalagay nyo. Sama sa pagkain nyo. Even for Q-Tex, the, uh, the nail polish, 
It's not uh, it's not uh, advisable or it's not allowed to wear nail polish while you're working in the kitchen. This contains chemicals as well. Okay, and of course short nails. for uh, proper hand washing, good hygiene requirements, and proper hand washing. Pag naghugas tayo ng kamay, hindi lang basta ilugod lang din siya o nagpa-ash, ano lang tayo? If you want to have uh, some coffee, just uh, get some coffee. Ako hindi get lang tubig or water. Later on, we will provide water. So, uh, to, let's continue. For food hygiene requirements, proper hand washing. Proper hand washing, especially sa mga nag-work sa kitchen dito, meron tayong baladiya training before to teach us how to uh, wash our hands properly. Diba? Ang, pag ang tamang paghuhugas ng kamay, hindi lang basta dito. It should be up until here. Dito. This is the proper way of washing your hands. Until here, hindi lang dito. And you need to rub it like that. This. Why? Because may mga nakasingit-singit dito. And like that. And round. For, for us to make sure that all the debris here on our uh, tip of our nails will be removed. So when you wash your hands like that, circular motion, pag, pag aalumin nyo siya, sasalubungin nyo siya like that, and then like that both sides and then until here and then you yung, yung iba gumagamit ng sanitizer hindi po yun na tinatawag dito ng fake social hindi po yun effect na parang gumamit ka ng sanitizer or uh, sanitize your hands malinis na yun it should be there should be involved of uh, uh, soap and running water dun lang matapong dalit yung or maliless ang germs sa ating mga uh, how many seconds? Do you have any idea how many seconds you need to wash your hair? Um, maximum 15. 15? Yes. Yes, 15 yes. to 20 seconds. Uh, that's the proper way of washing your hands. So, so, and then rub it for 20, para kumanta ng happy birthday. Kantahin mo yung happy birthday after you finish the happy birthday, that's the last. Then you use the, uh, what do you call for <laughs> okay. By the way, um, using tissue for drying your hands, uh, hindi siya really advisable. It's not really advisable to use tissue. Why? Kasi may mga fibers ang, ang tissue. Especially yung mga low quality na tissue. That's why if you notice sa mga high-end restaurant, they're using like a paper towel. Paper towel, less yung tinatawag na uh, fibers no tissue. But if you're gonna use this, this is not this is not advisable. This is not for uh, handling food. Kasi pag ginanong mo yan, makikita mo, lalo pagbasahin ka may mo, nandun yung mga fibers. May tendency na makunta yung sa food. Which is, which leads to customer customer complain. Diba? Ma'am, uh, chefs, uh, basa nga pa ng always wash hands. Always wash hands. After using the bathroom, after cutting species, smoking, eating, or drinking, after basing a table, before putting on gloves, after handling animals, when switching between raw and ready to eat food, after handling garbage or...